I woke up with the scattered voices around me. My throat was so dry I felt a weird salty taste in my mouth, as if my tongue was wrapped in a layer of wool. My head was heavy with a terrible headache. I felt my face on the cool, rocked surface and still my head was burning. I could sense that I was lying there on the ground with my wrists tied behind my back. I had the same sensation in my feet. Now I heard these scattered voices from moments ago, clearly. Look what you've done to him. Why do you care? The important thing is that we got the damn thing. Did you have to be so violent though? Do you really feel sorry for this piece of shit? You already forgotten all about it? Take a look at my face. Do you think I could ever forget? I'm sorry. I didn't mean... I didn't mean to... It doesn't matter now. Just hurry up and let's get it over with before he wakes up. I don't think he'll wake up for now, considering what I did to him. A hand grabbed my ankles and pulled. My face got dragged on the ground. I opened my eyes. Help! Help! Screaming loudly. Oh God. The old man let go of my ankle and came closer. Tell us when you're done howling so we could keep doing our job. He said. I tried to tear the rope tied around my hands with all the force I could muster. The man kicked me very hard in the side. Don't struggle too much, let us do our thing. My God, who are you? What do you want from me? I'm truly sorry, but you know everyone has a fate and sometimes we can't change it. You should stop fighting and just accept it. Why have you taken me? What do you want to do with me? Sorry, pal, but I don't understand any of the things you say. What do you mean? Please let me go. I don't even know who you are. Kneeling at my side, the man drew a big knife from his waist and put it on my chest. I'm sorry. Have we met under different circumstances? We could have been friends now. And then, with a flick of the wrist, he plunged a knife into my chest. I panicked, but didn't feel any pain. After a moment, my breathing turned to hissing. I felt like a water pot was boiling in my lungs. I started coughing and throwing up blood. The man stood up with his knife still in my chest. He grabbed my hands and tried pulling up from the ground. Come on, help me and grab his feet. 